So I know you've worked on some big TV shows before, but I love your independent movies that you've Thank done, you. The Good Girl, Cedar Rapids. What was it like for you to work on this movie, which I imagine would be quite large and have a lot of well, things, or did it have an independent spirit? Yeah, I mean, it was my first studio movie and I was pretty lucky. I, I had the nicest movie stars in the world. Steve Carell and Jennifer Garner are really nice people and very genuine and very warm. And they really helped me put this family together. You know, the goal of the movie is to make you believe this family. And, you know, they were wonderful. Uh, I couldn't have better co-pilots for my first studio project. Well, I've never read the book, but I understand the book and the movie are quite different. Did you like the direction they took the movie? You know, the movie just continues the book. In the book, Alexander has a bad day and it ends there. And uh, in the movie, you know, we just go, what would happen if he wished his family a bad day and then they had a bad day? Um, so it was kind of an organic continuation. <clears throat> I imagine it must be a gift, as you say, these two, Steve, Jennifer, so nice. Yes. Some of my favorite people ever to interview because they're just lovely. Right. But also they're so great at physical comedy. Yes. And that's what you needed. I know. You know, it was exciting to have Jennifer Garner in a comedy again. <laughs> I loved her in 13 Going on 30 and I, I hadn't been her, seen her being this funny in a long time. And she had a blast. She had a blast. You know, she had to do so many physical things. She walks in on her naked son <laughs> and then stops her foot and has to ride a bike uh, and, and crash. I mean, she, she had a blast. And, and she's a really good physical comic, comic. And then you also had to cast the children. Well, especially Alexander. I couldn't tell that he was Australian. And I am Australian. That's the greatest compliment. Thanks, Eliza. I like it. It's like, a, you know, when we saw the tape, we fell in love with him because he just feels so natural. And he seems to have, he's a kid that has a lot of generosity of heart. He can be happy for other people. And at 12, that's pretty rare. <laughs> um, but he also has a musical ear, you know, like uh, he can do the accent. It was pretty amazing. Like he started right off the bat. He was nearly perfect. Yeah. And he has to say Australia quite a lot in mm -hmm. the American accent. Were, were there always those references to Australia? Was it a bit of a coincidence? Um, it was in the book. This is right. just a complete irony that, that we made a movie about an American boy obsessed with Australia yeah. for no good reason, and we found an Australian kid to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is the central message, or do you not look at it that way? I do. I do very much. I mean, I, I hope it is incredibly funny, because yeah. I, I find these people very, very funny, uh, and I hope people enjoy themselves. But uh, to me, the message of the movie is... Um, to remember that there's an ebb and flow when you live with your family. It's easy to take them for granted or, or start hating them. But remember, when a little crisis come over, you start to appreciate them all over again. And, and so I want people to remember how lucky they are to have their families. And sometimes a bad day is just a bad day. It's just a bad day. There'll be, you know, you can't have seven in a row sometimes. <laughs> hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.